everybody and welcome. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Sephora VIB sales, some items that I recommend, and what's on my wish list, what I'm looking forward to. So before we jump into the video, as always guys, if you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. My name's Rhonda and over here, we always embrace the hot mess because it is a judgment-free, drama-free, stress-free zone where negative can leave because we keep it cute or we put it on mute period. Anyways guys, I upload all the time over here. Monday through Friday is always now at 9.15 Eastern time and then on the weekends at 9 p.m. and I am known to put two videos up in one day because I enjoy my job and you know, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. I am sassy. I haven't filmed in a few days but your girl is back and we're here to chat. So let's go ahead and jump on in. <laughs> The Sephora VIB Rouge style is coming up very, very soon. Actually, I'm not for sure which day I will be popping up this video. However, I can tell you I have some recommendations for you guys in store. So let's go ahead and start off with one huge thing. Just because it's on sale doesn't mean you need to buy it. Because one thing that I have to remind myself is with Christmas coming up, the holidays coming up, sometimes other stores, like the brands of the stores, for example, say Tarte, will have an even bigger sale, like a 30% off sale. So just be mindful of that. And one tip that I can tell you guys is if there's a specific brand in mind, say example Tarte, go over to Tarte's website, fill out your email information. There's even sometimes text and like where you can put your text in and they'll send you like text reminders or email reminders. So always something to think about as far as that goes and another extra way to save a little bit of money. So let's go ahead. As as far as the dates for VIB, VIB Rouge, etc., insiders, I'll have all that information in my description box below for you guys and I'll pin it in my comment section because I forgot my card over in my kitchen and I forgot to bring it in so I can't be specific for you guys on the dates. So let's just talk about some of the items that I highly, highly recommend that I love that I have in backup and of course. I've been talking about this one for years, guys. This is the Tatcha Pearl in the shade Moonlight. I always use this underneath my eyes as a really big brightener or brightening type of effect. If you guys are coming here for professionalism with someone that uses very big words that are very like fancy, you're not gonna get that here. Okay. Anyway, with that being said, I love this. Not so much for like the moisturizing benefits to it because I feel like if it does add moisture, it's not like a ton, but I love it for, like I said, the brightening aspect to it. Now I choose the lightest shade, which is in Moonlight, and it works for me whether I have sunless tanner on or just my regular skin tone, winter skin, what have you. And a lot of the times I will use this without having to worry about a foundation. Like if I want a no makeup kind of day, but I don't want to look completely like I lost a ton of sleep because the hubs were snoring or whatever it may be, I just go in with some of this, attention moisturizer, call it a day, if I even do that. Because there are some days that I look like total terror and it is what it is. But as far as this goes, highly recommend it. I know some people will say it's a little too pricey. I want to say it's like $42 or $48 or something like that, y'all. I picked up my very first one and I know it has like a six, yeah, a six month shelf life. Y'all, I got that thing almost a year and a half and it was just fine. This is my second one and I use it on the daily. It's amazing. Moving on to some other things that I would recommend picking up. I know a lot of people are just like anti palettes that are, I don't know, like $45 or more. To me, this is my time to get in there and get the palettes that I absolutely love. Specifically, the palettes that I would recommend are from Natasha Denona. I love the bronze palette. I feel like if you have, well, any shade of eye, will work, you know, obviously for this. However, if you have blue eyes, if you think about the color wheel, opposite of that is orange and the bronze just is like 
popping. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. This is a $65 palette. You can get 20% off if you're VIB Rouge, anywhere from 10 to 20% off. Now's the time to do it. I don't see very often that I can think of that Natasha Denona puts these palettes on sale. Will they go on sale eventually? Eventually. But if you can get it now for like 20% off, do it. The other one that I think a lot of people would absolutely love is a Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Again, I think this palette is beautiful for all eye shades. I think it's going to complement everybody. And again, if you have like a blue-gray eye like I do, I love this because it's so cool tone and it just makes the eyes like... Like with this one, my blue eyes look more royal, but with this one, they look more gray. It's so cool the way that they will change either way. So anyways, again, I love the formula in here. Very consistent. I do have looks over on my Instagram if you guys are interested and in following along. I do quick tutorials over there. Tutorials. I say it very lightly because I'm not a makeup artist. I am just over 40, having fun, playing in makeup, and I love Natasha Denona formulas. As far as the affordable side of Natasha Denona, I have four. Now, I'm not going to recommend this one just yet because I've not played in it yet. This is her latest mini, the Zindo palette, I guess is how you say it. But I would recommend picking up, whether it be the Retro palette, the Gold palette, or her mini glam palette. These are excellent. They're $25. They would make excellent stocking stuffers. By the way, I'll have everything linked and listed down below for you guys to make it easier, um, as well as the code that you need to save the 10 to 20% for the style. But I definitely love her little mini palettes. I know some people will say they are hit or miss depending on which one you pick up. But for me, I've not had any issues with the glam, the gold, or the retro. Matter of fact, the retro, I think I would have to say out of these three, I get the most use out of this one. It's so pretty. It's just it's just a gorgeous little palette. And like I said, stocking stuffers or dipping your toe into a little Natasha Denona formula, definitely. Again, Pat McGrath. I love Pat McGrath formula. This would be the time to pick up the Divine Rose 2 palette because a lot of people are like, which one, Divine Rose or Divine Rose 2? You guys, the Divine Rose 2 palette, I have both of them. Let me show you. Oh, this is the Divine Rose 2 that has that trichrome, I think is what it's called. Oh my gosh, the shift. Of course, it's not going to show up on, on the um, camera, but... This is the time. This is the time to pick these things up when you get crazy sales like this. Because again, if you see this kind of sale at Pat McGrath, it's not very often. And this is actually very similar to the kind of sale you would see over there. So why not get some Sephora points while doing so? Because I've been cashing mine in. 500 points get you $10 off. So I ended up getting this little palette for 15 bucks. I like that. I'm like, way to go, Sephora. You're kind of stepping it up and giving us a little bit of Ulta. Um, as far as the Divine Rose palette, it is a gorgeous palette, but it's that trichrome that got me. Again, it's a beautiful palette. I think that if you're not one that wants to go crazy outside your comfort zone, like, for example, some of the other palettes, like, like this one, you don't want to go too far out your comfort zone, I would stick with one of the Divine Rose palettes because they're just beautiful. And the Divine Rose 2 complements the Divine Rose perfectly. Okay, guys, I had to mention the new Natasha Denona Triochrome palette that is going to be available November 3rd. It is going to be $129, so it's right up there with the Pat McGrath as far as that goes. But you can get up to 20% off, so I had to talk about this. Okay, so as far as blush, let's talk about some blushers. You guys, I really, really enjoy Wonder Beauty blush, specifically this one. This is the On The Glow. So on one side, you get the blush. It's a cream blush, which I love. I don't know if you have oily skin. I don't know how you're going to feel about it. For me personally, I'm normal to combo dry skin. But on the other side, you've got the highlighter, which is so pretty so i love this one i gotta talk about the tower 28 i'm pulling everything as i go because i start thinking about it and i'm like oh now a lot of people are going to ask me fenty beauty cream blushers or tower 28 you guys i'm going to give it to tower 28 on this one i love the bronzers the bronzinos for tower 28 and i love their blushers as well 
and again I can't attest for if I have if you have oily skin how they're gonna work but I will tell you guys these are so beautiful and I don't have any type of breakout and that was one thing I started to notice if I use too much of the Fenty especially like up through here I was breaking out and I don't typically ever break up break out in that area so for me Tower 28 where it's at Wonder Beauty and of course last but not least I got to talk about the Patrick Ta blushers these are the blush where you get the powder and the cream these are amazing and again this would be the time I would suggest to pick these up. I think they're absolutely beautiful. The ones I use the most are Do We Know Her and I, I have three out of I think there's four of them and I really like the She's That Girl. It's like this really pretty like bubblegum pinky. I love them. I love them so much. I have She's So LA which again is a really pretty one but I don't reach for it as much as I do the other pinky peachy tones. Um, let's talk about something that I, I could go on and on and on over. Something that really shocked me that I didn't realize I was going to love so much. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Y'all use this every single day as my finishing spray. Like I'll use other sprays in there to like get my powder down or whatever, but this setting spray, I, I got it as soon as it launched, 20 bucks for this. I'm already down to here. Like, you don't need a ton of it. This stuff is amazing. It gives you that beautiful, like, fresh, flawless type of look. So, I definitely would recommend, out of all the setting sprays that I use from Sephora, I would say if you want a good one, I'd go with this one to get that really pretty airbrush type of look to your skin. I'm like looking around at other things. I could go on forever and ever, but I don't want to like bore you guys. Let's talk about something that I am excited about. So you guys know a while back, I want to say maybe it was like last, was it last spring? I think it was last spring. I did end up picking up the Dyson hairdryer set. I fell in love with it. Like I absolutely love the Dyson hair dryer. So uh, I've been going back and forth. I don't think I don't know if I'm gonna pull the trigger on this, but the Dyson Air Wrap Styler. I want this like something fierce. Yes, it's five hundred and forty nine dollars, and I know I'm gonna hear about it in the comment section. But excuse me, I'm sorry. I did say judgment free zone, drama free zone, stress free zone. I feel like I need to ha, you know. Like, cut that negativity. I said, keep it cute or put it on mute. I want this. I just, I don't know. As much as I love the Dyson hair dryer and the fact, like, I have it, and I'm sure people will be like, yeah, I can see. But I didn't flat iron my hair. I just dried it. This is like two day old hair. And my hair is just naturally straight. But I, I can, like, actually dry my hair and it's not like, psh. you know, some hair dryers will actually do that. So I'm so curious about this complete styler. It's got like six, like no, seven, eight. I don't know. It has a ton of different like parts that you can switch out different sizes. And I'm so intrigued by this. And I'm like 20% off. That's like a hundred dollars, over a hundred dollars off. I think I'm going to do it. I don't know. And then the other thing that I have in my cart is the Biggie Biggie Bum Bum Cream Sol de Janeiro. And they actually have the spray that I'm really hoping that it comes back. But it's the Sol de Janeiro Cherosa 71 Body Mist. Is that back? It's, nope, it's still out of stock. Everybody is telling me that this apparently smells like the original Coca Cabana, which as you guys know, I flippin' love because it smelled like butter popcorn. And I have a ton of people telling me that's what this Terosa 71 Body Mist smells like. So I'm like, so I had it in my cart, but it sold out. So I definitely plan on picking it up because mm, you guys know my love for the Coca Cabana. I like it now still. But there was something about that delicious buttery popcorn that sent me next level. Oh, and then as far as my wish list, guys, where I, I go back and forth, this has been in my cart, and then I'm like, mm, do I? I haven't decided, but the Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Instant Eyeshadow Palette, I just think this is absolutely beautiful. Last year, I did pick up her holiday palette, 
and this was my first time ever using a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow and I loved it. I fell in love with it and I picked up some of her quads but for me I feel like I get the best value in these types of palettes. They're $75 but 20% off this is how I justify things. So I like the fact that with these types of holiday palettes you kind of you definitely get more of a variety as, as far as the shades go like her quads are 50 some dollars so for me I, I just feel like it's a better deal and comparing the two i don't see i don't see a difference in the formula you know how some companies i guess they use like a cheaper less expensive lab or some less expensive lab or something i don't feel like that's the case on this one but I don't know that that is something that I definitely have my eye on and I mean for the most part that's kind of it other than I'm really curious about the Huda Beauty Haze Obsession eyeshadow palette in khaki I just think this is absolutely gorgeous and it's $29 and I go back and forth I'm like I probably have it I don't need it but these new Haze palettes are so pretty and I really like her nine pan palettes so again do I have an eyeshadow palette obsession? I do. I really do. Do I need it? No. But do I want it? Heck freaking yeah. So anyways, those are just some of my recommendations that I have. If you guys are on the fence with the Dyson, the, the hair dryer, I know I'm going to hear about it, but it's really good. It really is. And as far as, you know, stocking up on other things, only stock up on it if you actually need it and it's going to be something that you use. For example, like if it's Hourglass, Charlotte Tilbury, definitely YSL, my favorite YSL foundation. I have it in backup so I'm not going to pick it up this time, but the YSL, I think it's called like the All Hours Foundation. I love that foundation. That is my favorite foundation known to man it's amazing and i definitely would highly recommend it like i said i'll have everything linked and listed down below for you guys if you guys are interested in shopping my links thank you guys in advance i will be using magic links which are commission based links so i do appreciate it so thank you guys very much hopefully you found this video helpful and useful and if you did stick around and subscribe because i'm always uploading something over here on my second channel over on instagram so follow me everywhere i'd love to have you as part of the family and until next time friends as always i hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day kisses from kentucky Mwah! bye guys